I want to show you is this. It's pretty cool. So I knew we were going to do this video on the witchy grubs. I was in Alice Springs the other day having dinner, or we were, and um, I was outside having a beer, and a local Aboriginal lady came up and tried to sell me a painting, or she wanted to sell me a painting, and lo and behold, it's it's um, got witchy grubs on it, which is I found very coincidental since uh, this video was going to be on it, so I had to buy it. It's got honey ants uh, and witchy grubs and a few other things, so I'll show you. So here's the painting, beautiful painting. There's the witchy grub. That's called, I found out in Pinjana, the, the language is Maku, and that's a honey ant, which in the same language is Jala. So Maku and Jala. Now let's get amongst it. <clears throat> we'll go and find some of these bushes and dig out some witchetties. So this is it. This is the witchetty bush with these beautiful little golden sun-like flowers. So it's, it's called the acacia bush or witchetty bush. And the witchetty moth, uh, it's a cossid moth actually from the cossid family. They'll lay their eggs at the base of the tree. And the grubs will find their way to the roots. Um, then they'll eat. They they live on the sap out of the roots. So they'll they'll eat the the roots and get all that yummy sap out there and build their fat reserves up. The grubs will actually live for two years, and then they'll form a cocoon. Um, the moth will will emerge. It'll fly off. It's actually got no functioning eating part, so it can't eat. So it'll live for two days off the reserves from when it was a grub. It'll mate, breed, lay its eggs, and then it'll die. So two years is a grub, two days is a moth, and that's its life cycle. So you can see at the base of these, you can see the sawdust. That's the grub feces. So it's a, it's a dead giveaway that they're in there. Look, I'll show you. See that sawdust down there? So now we just got to dig them out and find some. I've got some um, modern tools here, or bar here. The ancient Aborigines would have used um, specialised digging tools made out of timber and stuff, but I've got the luxury of steel, so a little axe here. So let's get amongst it and dig some of these up. It's rocky ground here, so it might be uh, the digging might be a bit hard going, but. I reckon we'll be all right. Oh, yeah. Look at this big guy. Oh yeah, look at that. Now that's a good witchery. What a beauty. You can see here where this grub is tunneled up into the roots. A big hole there. So that's a classic example of a Great Sandy Desert witchetty grub dug out of the roots of a witchetty bush or the acacia bush. So the Aboriginal people have been eating the, these for, for thousands of years. It's a really, really um, great source of, of protein and other vitamins and stuff. <clears throat> and they would have eaten them straight out of the tree, straight in the mouth like that, raw as can be. So I'm going to do the same.
Mmm. It's actually it's a really nice flavour. I prefer them cooked, but that was really good, really juicy, really almondy, sort of um, oily sort of taste. It was good though. Where's some more? Just get bits of it. Oh, there's one little one already. Oh yeah. Only a little one. That's a good start. There's another little one. You can see where it's come. It's lived up in that root there. <laughs> Try this one raw. Mm. That's good. All right, there's one in here. You can see it just there. I can't tell how big it is, but I'll uh, dig that out. Another little fella. Get in here. Another little one. I'll try a couple more over here. One down in here. Collection. Not huge, but he's all right. Be nice. Hey. Another little fella. Hmm. Right, I got a few now. No huge ones this time. One was pretty good. I got this bit of dry spin effects. I got a flat rock here. I'm just going to roast them quickly. Um, yeah, and then eat them.
rise to Witchity Grub. Mmm. That is so good. You want one of these? No. <laughs> it does know what she's missing. Mmm. <clears throat> I really do have like an almondy flavour, I guess. Peanut buttery, maybe. Mm. Here we go. Little handful of them. Yum. So look at this. I've just dug a root up, and you can see how they get in the root, and they end up nearly as thick as the root. It's only the like the skin of the root left. So it's a hollow that's made. Oh, look at this guy. That's what we came for. We'll um, cook him up. I'll put him in the hat. Look at this doozy. That's a beauty. Right. Look at this. Look at this big fella. Mm. They are really good. The Aboriginal people have been eating them for thousands of years, surviving out here in the desert. They certainly knew what they were doing. So in this part of the video, we're in the East McDonald Ranges. Um, they range from the Gap um, on the eastern side of Alice Springs and run for about 150 kilometers. So the whole of the McDonald Ranges is 644 Ks. And this side, the eastern side, is um, 150 Ks, yeah. Wow, what a beautiful place and a really, really important place too, like a permanent water source like this for the native wildlife out in the desert. This has been really, really important. You can imagine the different species that come down here to drink from all the reptiles to the black-footed rock, rock wallabies and birds and stuff. You can see stuff swimming in the water. A bit of small fish and insect life, yeah, what a beautiful place. 
Wow, look at this native fig. Pretty sure that's what that is. There's a fruit. Let's try this one. Wow, look at this little swimming hole. That's a beauty. What a beautiful little place. Put all the layers in these rocks here. Ooh. I want to try this water. Be better than any tap water you could drink, that's for sure. community called Papanya. It's out along Kintal Road off the Tenamai Highway, about a couple hundred k's west of Alice Springs. Hello, how are you? Oh, look at that. Kangaroo tails. A heap of kangaroo tails. It's actually a fair bit in this store. More than I thought there'd be.
Hello.